In this video, we will create a Docker container for a Svelte app and we will push that container to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First, let's create a Docker file here. And uh, of course, make sure to have uh, installed uh, Docker in your machine. And uh, here I will add from node the version I will specify uh, 15.4 here and I will name it as build. So this will be a multi-stage build. Uh, I will explain later this uh, as build what does this mean and let's add a working directory. I will call it app. So this is the folder that we will create our project. You can name it whatever you want and then we'll copy package.json to that folder. So uh, we'll copy package.json dot means this working directory. I will add a star here, which means uh, that we will get package.json and also package.log.json. So we can add uh, anything in between the star. So now that we added those, run npm install. Since uh, we are from a node environment, this uh, npm will be available. And uh, after npm install is finished, let's copy everything. So this is uh, all these files and folders to this working directory. So once we add everything, we have to build. So run npm run build. So this is the first stage. So we can run npm run build here to see what uh, files does it generate. So this generates a bundle.js here uh, on the public folder. So uh, this is what we are going to do. So once this is generated here, we don't need these other files. So we don't need scripts, SRC, everything. So we need only the public folder. We don't need even the node modules. So that's why we do a multi-stage build. So we can create another uh, container here, nginx, the version is 1.19. So uh, this container now, uh, we uh, want get, we, we want to get only the public folder. But first let's uh, add here, I will add uh, a directory, nginx, and uh, Inside, I will create a file nginx.conf and here I will copy this code. So I will provide this code uh, in the description of this uh, video and uh, uh, we need to copy this uh, file to copy nginx, nginx.conf to etc nginx nginx.conf so we added the configuration and now uh, we name this build and we will copy from the build uh, in the app so app is the working directory we want only the public folder so we got the public folder and we'll copy it to user Uh, share nginx html so that's it so before it was uh, all this it was a container with all these files so we don't need not modules or all these files here uh, then we created a smaller container that contains only the public uh, folder with uh, the bundle uh, js files with this, we can run our Docker container. So let's uh, create it. So to build uh, this uh, Docker file, we run docker build. We need to specify the name for this uh, Docker container. So I'll put t minus t app. So app is the name that I put. So you can put whatever name you want. And dot in the end is uh, we will build to this uh, uh, context 
and we will get this docker file and that's it so this will build our app let's wait till this completed so it is completed and uh, now this container is ready to be pushed to the cloud but before let's uh, test it on the browser so to run it on the browser run docker run and we have to specify the port i will put 8888 and uh, the port inside this docker container is 80 and the name of the container is app so it is started and now in our browser go to localhost port 8888 and we can see hello world and uh, our svelte app is running so with this uh, we are ready now to push the container to the cloud and I'll close this IDE because we don't need it anymore so I'm logged into my Google Cloud platform now and uh, we, we will use two uh, services container registry and cloud run so let's go to the container registry and uh, before adding uh, anything here we need uh, to install a Google Cloud SDK so make sure to download the right installer for macOS you download it here also for Windows and Linux and also make sure to add it to your path once it is completed you can use gcloud so uh, I ho already have uh, my gcloud configured and now uh, let's uh, uh, login first so in order to push containers to the google cloud registry we have to be logged in first so g cloud auth login so uh, this uh, will uh, connect with our google cloud account and uh, we will allow everything and uh, now we are logged in if we go to our uh, terminal we will see this so I'll clear now and uh, now we can uh, push our image to the docker uh, registry to the container registry sorry so first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of the image is app and uh, we will tag it to google cloud registry so gcr.io slash we need the project name so if we go to our cloud platform click uh, our project here and uh, this is my project name so I'll copy this ID here and uh, I will add it here so this is our project ID and then uh, we need the name of uh, our container so this should be the same with uh, the last one I tagged this and then we need to push it so I'll remove this and we will push it and this will push the container to our Google Cloud platform so let's wait till it's completed so the image is pushed now uh, we will see the image here so in the container registry we have our app image and uh, let's go here and let's copy the URL so I'll copy the URL here because uh, we will need it and uh, let's go to now to the cloud run so here we need to create a service we need the service name i'll call it app uh, the region you can select your own region uh, we need the container image url so here we can select it directly and this is the container the last container that we pushed so i'll select this and this was uh, our container we can add some advanced settings here like variable secrets etc but the only thing that we will change is uh, the port so our container port is 80 so I'll put 80 here and we don't need to change anything else there next so uh, we need to allow an uh, unauthenticated invocations so this is public and that's it so let's create this and let's wait till it's completed 
so it should be fast. So it is completed, not sure why I made a mistake here, the port was 76 here, it should be 80. And uh, we have uh, also a URL here, if we go to the URL, we will see our app deployed. So it was this simple, this is how we deploy an app to the Google Cloud Run. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.